Thank you for your purchase of a U-Harvest data management system. This video is going to demonstrate how to operate U-Harvest from a virtual terminal display. By now you should have U-Harvest pulled up on the screen and have everything set up. If you do not have U-Harvest pulled up and don't have anything set up, please see U-Harvest VT setup video. From the home screen, you can start new jobs, resume old jobs, or resume the latest job. We will first start a new job. Click on the Start New Job button. This brings up the page where you entered all your growers, farms, and fields. Click on the Grower drop-down menu and choose which grower you are going to. Next, click on the Farm drop-down menu and choose which farm you are going to. Next, click on the Field drop-down menu and choose which field you are going to. Finally, choose which crop you will be harvesting. Once all those have been selected, you can click on the green check mark to start the new job. Once you have started the job, it brings you right to the scale page. This is the page most people will use when out in the field during normal operation of U-Harvest. At the top of the screen, you can see what field you are in because U-Harvest gives you the grower, farm, and field. It also shows what year and what crop. This information will stay at the top no matter what screen you are on. Right in the middle of the screen, we will find the weight in the cart. Left of the weight is where you can zero the cart out if you know the cart is completely empty and doesn't show exactly zero. But this weight is not important because every time you turn the PTO on, the scale automatically zeroes itself out. If you tap in the weight box, the system will switch from load weight to combine verify. This is where you can zero the combine verify out and dump the combine on the cart so you can calibrate your combine yield monitor but still keeping your load weight. If you click back on the weight, it will go back to the load weight. To the right of the weight, you can click between pounds and bushels depending on what you want to display. Underneath the weight, you will see two status bars. One is for the hitch weight and one is for the total capacity. The hitch weight is important because every grain cart has a loading procedure, which is center of the cart right above the axle first, then the rear of the cart, and then finally the front. But if the front is loaded out of sequence, the grain cart operator will be able to see this on the screen. The total capacity just shows a percentage of how much of the cart is loaded based on the capacity set during the setup procedure. Next, you will see a mini report on the scale page. This shows load ID, weight, truck ID, moisture, and dry bushels if a moisture sensor is equipped. Finally, at the bottom, you will see the totals from the current field you are in. You will see total weight and total dry bushels for this field. We will simulate loading the grain cart up and unloading the cart. Now that we have a full grain cart, we are ready to unload the cart. When you are ready to unload the grain cart, you can click on the unload button. On the unload page, you will see the last unloaded weight in the unload weight box. Our show is zero because this is the first load we are dumping. You will see the two status bars underneath the weight. Below the status bar, you can choose the truck for whichever truck is hauling this load of grain. Click in the drop down menu to choose which truck. If you have AccuLoad, the bottom left is where you can make sure it is in auto mode, but for more details, please see the U-Harvest Operators Manual. Next, you can click on the drop-down menu for the destination. Finally, if the variety is different from what is chosen, then click in the drop-down menu for the variety and choose which variety you have. Since you have chosen your truck, destination, and variety, you are ready to unload. Beside the Auto Manual button for AccuLoad, you will see an image of a grain cart auger. When the PTO is running, the auger will flash and there will be grain coming out of the spout. It will also say engaged above the grain cart auger. So it is a good practice to check this when you turn on your PTO. This ensures that the system knows that it should be recording now because we are unloading. But before you turn the PTO on, you want to change any truck, destination, or variety that is not correct. Do this before the PTO is turned on because once the PTO is on, do not touch anything on the screen. 
So with the tractor at idle, you can go ahead and gauge your PTO. Now you can see the auger flashing and grain coming out of the spout and engaged is shown. This means you are in the unloading sequence and the system is recording. Also the unload weight zeroed as soon as the PTO was engaged. You can now go ahead and unload the grain cart. As you unload the grain cart, you will notice the weight in the unload box starts to climb as you unload more grain. When the truck is full and you disengage the PTO, do not move the grain cart until the PTO stops spinning and the weight is recording. Moving too soon before the weight is recorded will make the weights inaccurate. You have unloaded your first load and you can go back to the scale page and see the load you just dumped. It's best to calibrate the scale as soon as possible. It works best to use between three to five loads to calibrate the scale. It also works best to take the loads to a certified scale to get the best accuracy. For the demonstration, I have ran five loads. So if I add up my cart weight records, I come up with an average of 56,814 pounds. If I add up my certified scale weight records, I come up with an average of 58,640 pounds. Now you can click on the setup button. You can enter the average certified weight and the certified weight scale box. You can enter the average grain cart weight and the grain cart weight box. Once these two numbers are entered, you will see two cal numbers. You will see the current cal number and the calculated cal number. Right now these two numbers are different. You will need to press the big cal button in order to calibrate the system. Once you press calibrate, the calculated cal number becomes the current cal number. This means the system has changed the calibration number to make the scale accurate. It doesn't hurt to check a few more loads just to make sure the scale is accurate. Remember, grain cart scales do have a 1% error because it is a mobile scale. Calibrating the moisture sensor is done the exact same way. Click on the moisture to pull up moisture sensor calibration. You will get three to five moisture sensor readings from the grain cart and average those together. Also get three to five certified moisture readings and average those together. Enter both of these values and press calibrate. Again, you want the calculated offset to become the current offset. Now your grain cart scale is calibrated and you are using the scale and unload page. If you would like to see all the data from this field, you can click on the report button. Here you can view all the information for every load. Next you can click on the diagnostics button. This menu has four important numbers that are needed if you ever call your dealer for troubleshooting. Hitch load cell voltage and axle load cell voltage are on the first page. Use the arrow to toggle back and forth between the two diagnostic screens. Processor firmware version and ECU firmware version are on the second diagnostics page. These four numbers are the most important numbers for troubleshooting. There are more troubleshooting tips in the operator's manual and on uharvest.net. Please click on the home screen to get back to the home page. If you are starting up for the day and you are in the middle of a job and need to resume that job, there are a couple ways to do this. If the job you need to resume was the last job you were in before you shut down the last time, you can click on the resume latest job button to go right back to the last job. If you need to resume an older job, you can click on Resume Old Job. Then select the grower, select the farm, select the field, and select the file name, and then click on the green check mark to go back to this older job. You are now able to run uHarvest Data Management System to its fullest using a virtual terminal display. If you would like to run uHarvest from a tablet, please see uHarvest Tablet Operations video. Please see uHarvest VT data download video to see how to download your harvest data.